Good morning, another Saturday morning, normalizing atheism out here in Austin. We hear a lot about normalizing atheism. Now for me, and for many of us who are non-believers, we want to be considered as equals, right? We want equity. We want a seat at the table with everyone else from all different beliefs. We want a more equitable world. We want believers to know that we are kind, just like them. Nice, loving, moral, ethical, just like they are. Because many of them do not know that we, as secular people, as non-believers, are very similar in many ways to them. Because the principles of humanism are very similar, some of you may not like this, but it's a fact, are very similar to the principles of Christianity the love, the kindness, the compassion. Of course, we have our differences. They, believers, expect us to be hateful and angry. Could it be because maybe that's what they see? Could be. We have the ability to show them differently because hate and anger, they don't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't change and transform the world for good. We, as non-believers, can transform lives. We can transform the world for the good through kindness, compassion, and the big, big four-letter word, the album, love. Now, there are benefits to normalizing atheism properly, the proper way my take. I hope. They, believers, may actually one day vote for a secular candidate. Someone who's running for political office, either local, state, or national. Because they will know that, hey, that particular man or woman has good principles and ethics. They don't know this. Now, I... I'm not a 501c3, so I'm able to say this. I voted for two believers last year, Joe and Kamala. They are people of faith. They talk about God bless America and faith. I know we have to put up with that sometimes, but we're getting there, right? Baby steps. Now, maybe one day if we show believers what we're really like, they will one day vote for somebody that's secular. Another benefit of normalizing atheism, believers will view us as equals. The great Martin Luther King back in the 60s. Treat us as an equal. We're not trying to take over. That's what we say. Treat us as equals. Another benefit of normalizing atheism properly, we can minimize not eradicate totally, not remove it absolutely, but we can actually minimize atheist discrimination because it's still out there. And I can tell you through experience that on the weekends, I get it still to this day. But we can change the world, not through hate and anger. We can let others see what we're really like through compassion, kindness, and love. So remember my secular friends, so let's let the light and the compassion of secular humanism shine. Have a wonderful day.